Hi everyone, Scott here, and I'd like to show you an app called Writing Wizard, and it's a great little app that will help your child with developing their fine motor control and also with their letter formation. So I've opened that, here it is, nice and colourful, and you can hear it's got some lovely soothing background music. Um, it's got a lot of sounds in this app, and some people may find it a little bit distracting. If I just demonstrate on the first one, when we go into it, here are all the examples we can do. And as we start, there's quite a lot of feedback and volume and noises. Now I'm going to go in and just show you how to turn those off, because whilst some people might like it, I think for the purpose of this video, it might be better to have them off. So if you go into the settings and you can see where all the sounds are, the bottom one is background music, so I'm going to start by turning that one off. Sound during the game, and the game is the little bit you can just sort of play around with the letter you've drawn after each time you've drawn it. I might leave the letter or word sound and name on. Sound on key points off. Fail sound off. Sound when the child is tracing off, and also sound when the model is being traced off. So I've just sort of customised the sounds a little bit there. Um, there are lots of settings in here, we'll talk about a few of them perhaps in a while. But for now, here is the main home page. You can see that here we've got the pre-writing shapes. We've got uppercase, lowercase, numbers, and then also my words. And I'm going to show you briefly what each of those does. Now then, the pre-writing shapes. If your child um, is still a bit unsure about their pre-writing shapes, I would keep on practicing these before you move on to actual letter formation, get the skills needed to form the letters correctly done first using the pre-writing shapes. So there's lots here, they start uh, more basic and they do get more complex as we go along. Um, and there's a few more there on this page, if you swipe left and right you can see them. So let's try the very first one, just to give you a taste of what it's like. So here's the app, it draws the line straight down and you can either use your finger or you can use a stylus to draw it. I'm using a mouse just so I can show you uh, where I am touching on the screen. So you start at the top and you drag all the way down. The arrow shows you how to go and then you get to the end. And when you finish, this is the game bit. You can play around with all the different bits, practice a bit more fine motor control and they're different each time they sort of randomly go. And you can see there's a nice arrow there so you can go to the next one. In the settings, you can change this, so after a certain amount of time, it automatically goes on to the next one. You drag all the way along. There we go again, we've got a little game. This one's a bit different, you can just pull it around. Um, and now you may have noticed there's a little cog up the top here. I'm gonna show you what that does now. So this is where you've got the settings for different parts of the app. Um, first of all is the size, so you can make it nice and big, medium, small or then there's a custom one where you can kind of slide it to make it smaller or bigger that's probably a little bit too small so maybe somewhere around about the middle um, or you might just want to go with one of the full ones difficulty changes the thickness of the line the thinner the line the more precise the touch has to be um, the style you can change the sort of the color of the tracing line and whether it does this sort of sparkly dot or whether it gives you a pencil to draw with and then here, if out of the correct path, do you stay in place? Do you go back to the last key point or do you go back to the start? So when we start here, if I come off, if I bring my finger off of the um, off of the shape or if I stop touching the screen, it will stay in place. Now, if I change that to back to the last key point, there'll be key points all the way along. And as you, st as you come off of it, it sort of like snap you back to the last bit. or the very last one takes you back to the very, very start. So if you've come off and you stop part way through, it has to go all the way back to the beginning of it. And it doesn't quite work on the straight line ones, but when you've got curved ones, there'll be different key points as you go along it. And then these ones here are about easy key point validation. This is about how it looks when you draw down the line. So if we take off the easy key point validation and the draw only on model, you can actually now doesn't draw it perfectly straight you can see you can come off the line a little bit now if you come too far off obviously it will snap you back to the start or wherever it is on it but this way it doesn't look quite so neat it kind of automatically straightens and tidies it all up a little bit for you 
So those are some of the main settings. Now I'm going to go back and show you a couple of the other options. Here is the uppercase letters. And we've got the lowercase letters. Here are the numbers. And I'm going to show you the last one, which is the My Words. This one I think is very interesting. You can create your own custom word lists. You can see I've made a little demo one here, but I'll show you some of the other ones. This is like CVC and three letter words, which are good. BDP words, letters, uppercase and lowercase letters combined, and the demo one. Now the demo one's really interesting, I think, because you can create whatever you want with this. It could be maybe high frequency words that you'd like your child to practice more of. It could be some tricky words that maybe they have difficulty with. It's very, very easy just to edit them. You can see I've added one called map. I'm going to put another word in as well. Uh, maybe I'll do a word, let's do pan, something nice and easy. And you can see I've got an option to record. So actually I can record myself or the child could record their own voice saying the word. Pan. I'll play that back. Pan. And there we go. And we've got... I'm going to use that list, and now you can see we've got the two words. We could do lots more as we go along. And when we click on it, map, we've got my voice saying it, and then you can trace it. And as you're tracing it, you're actually going to be not only practicing your handwriting and your fine motor skills, you're actually also going to be practicing your spellings. And there's lots of benefit. Here we go. I need to practice this one a little bit more. There's lots of benefit to actually drawing out your spellings. It does help you learn them. So there we go. That's the app. Those are some of the main features. I will come back and I'll do some other videos about some of the more specific parts in there. Um, but thank you very much for, for watching. And please come back and check out some of my other videos. Thank you.